What's up, gang? This is Zerk, Kane Zilla, Gizzy Camilla, and the Villa Villa Trudder, and we are back on the Crooked Man. It's been a minute since I last played. I've been focused on Tsukihime and Fate, but we're finally getting back into the game. I forgot, last time we went to this hotel, we saved this girl from the Crooked Man. We got her back, her little bot from her ex-boyfriend, and now we're going wherever the hell this is. I, don't, I actually don't know where this is. Uh, I forgot. Man, this place was far. That took almost an entire day. So this is the place. Looks like the school was abandoned. No one's around, though. I, I guess they'd be inside anyway. Let's see if I can even enter. Julius Stone Law School. Set for demolition. No entry. Hey, this is the school from that leaflet. Then maybe he is here after all. Why would he be in an abandoned school? Don't be fucking stupid. You dumb bitch. Oh, hell no. I'm all, I just got in. I'm already scared as fuck. <gasps> oh, shit. Stop being a bitch, Seek. Stop being a bitch. You're being a bitch. Ooh, item. Nameplate that reads Stacy Lizzie. There's a key by it. Infirmary key. Oh, hell no. Nah. Notice about keys. Stacy Lizzie, reference room, Ray Twain, lecture, computer. All right. That'll be important later on, probably. I don't, bro. Look, man, I don't fuck with infirmaries, bro. I play at Quartz Party. Shit, shit never goes well. Quartz Party, hey, hey, man, look. I'm, I'm the generation raised off video, ra raised off. Oh, shit! Was there someone there? I couldn't really see him in the dark. I'm the, I'm the generation raised off RPG maker horror games. Course party taught me not to go to the infirmary. Uh, you'll die. Fuck. Fuck me for wanting to make a damn joke. Shit. A box of tools. Oh shit. Okay, W. A lot of books. You gotta read, you know? Get that education. Get this Sonic.exe ass sound out of my fucking ear, bro. Keep this shit up. I'm about to start going around jerking niggas off. Get this shit out of my fucking ear. It's 12 in the morning. Did I eat? 12 in the afternoon, technically. Did I eat? I thought I ate. Why does this law school have math books? Well, I'm terrible at math. Binary number is made up of binary digits known as bits. 1, 1, 2, 10, 3, 11, 4, 1. This is some dumb shit. I don't fucking know. Do I look like I know binary code, bruh? Indeed, law 2 needs a numeric representation. After all, basic things such as on or off, 0 or 1, can represent much more complex numbers. Using the smallest elements to produce new things is a way of thinking I hold in high esteem. Though perhaps it's more artistic notion that captivates me more than the mathematics. Diary. I lost a note with my security box password, so I couldn't get into the computer room. Headmaster got angry at me. This is the worst. Thought I had it when I was writing for the seminar in the reference room. Maybe I left it in a book somehow. If I use my ID as a password like Andrew does, then I wouldn't forget, but that's risky. Of course, if you just use a num random word, then you have my problem. Dumb fuck. See, this is why I memorize all my passwords. I don't forget none of my shit. I keep all of my shit memorized in my brain, but I gotta go to the reference room. Hell is this? Michael Desertion made it into an academic journal. I'm so happy for him. I knew when he joined my class, he'd be a prodigy. I also realized that I have the same birthday. He and I have the same birthday. I use my birthday as a code. So I feel like maybe I should change it. Michael dissertation, his birthday. Y'all about to piss me off. All these damn puzzles. What is this, a fucking RPG game? Is this a puzzle game of some sort? Times are changing, our existing laws can't serve us anymore. We must surpass the father of our law to find the true answer. Going on the grass is a key. John Keith. This is Ray Twain. Franz Moore. He's a whore. Hold on. 
I got the bars. Lefty Lewis. UG McGuire. Goofy ass name, but I let it slide. You John Keith, infirmary. Oh. We're in the infirmary now. Line with medicines. Medical treatment. The parlor key. W. Okay. Just take a nap. Okay, let's go. If it's up, and it's up, and it's up, and it's stuck. If it's up, if it's up. Okay. Clock is stopped. What's this? I guess it's wire art or something. Not sure what it's supposed to be, though. 10101 made by Ray Twain, one of the lectures. 10101111. So, 10. One zero, so two, five, fifteen, two, five, one, five. It's two, five, one. Oh, this might not be the right room. Oh, it is. Okay. A key to the reference room. All right. Head to the reference room. Hold on. Your boy is intelligent. You asshole! Bro, why? Why did you do that? Who'd you be? What are you doing in this school, you shady punk? Bro, shady punk, I'm looking for someone. You shoved me out of the blue, who are you? Give me a name or I'm calling the police on you. David Hoover. I'm looking for a guy who I think was here. I'm not a robber or anything. Hmm, you sure? As if a robber would say they were one. Bro, what do you want, a permit? Now tell me who you are if you're gonna ask me. Bitch. I'm D. They call me Big D in the streets, young nigga. I graduated from this school, so I came to bring back some memories. D. Your name Big D. All right, nigga. That's your name. Not actually the oddest one I've heard, but it's a nickname, dumbass. Think I tell some shady guy my real name? I'm a fucking dickhead. But I guess you ain't stolen anything yet. I'm just wandering, so don't mind me. Smell you later. Oh, bitch ass nigga. Fuck is his problem. Didn't even apologize. I'll fuck your auntie, nigga. Right here. Dave. Like this shit. They say people despise those who think similarly to them or who are in a similar circumstance, who are in similar circumstances. But humans are curious in that they can hide any outward appearance or of goodwill or hatred. Though they are two faced deep down, they can make that idea seem unthinkable. You may despise someone much like you, but you may in your heart have affection for them. The improbable is not impossible. I never understood this philosophy stuff. What did you just dislike people you don't like? Nah, that book was spitting. That's some real shit. Read the books in the school. Book on civil war. Civil law, my fault. Sorry for being stupid. Record of books checked in and out. That might be useful. Comparative just a visit. Elevated for carrying books, no power. Mm-hmm. Shelved in a basement or for staff only. Those who require books from the basement must take a form and be accompanied by staff. Okay, so what was the hell? What, like, what, 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 what was the point of this place? I needed that key for what? I needed that key for what? So this is Andrew's room. He left it in a book in the reference room. We need to find that. George White, 1976, 1806. Signatory of the Declaration of Independence, called the Father of American Law. 
attached to the wall the screws a little loose if the right tool I could unscrew it I indeed have the right tool okay writing 6 1647 Hold on. Can't trust it. Oh, 16. 47. Key to the lecture hallway. Save again. <laughs> what? Why is it here? Back in the hotel, I thought. Damn it, I'll think about it later, gotta run. <laughs> Bro, fuck you. You dickhead. What am I supposed to do though? Like, do I, do I beat him with a crowbar? Okay, let me explore, let me see. Is there anything I can do? Like, excuse me while I um figure this out. What if I just lock them in? Surely that'll keep it in. This is so bizarre. I mean, back at the hotel. And the hotel's hours away, isn't it? Could it really be following me? Why? How? Driving me nuts. Or am I hallucinating this thing? Then again, it did attack Sissy. So it can't just be my imagination. Bro, go! D, if that monster's here, I've got to warn D. Tell him he's got to get out of here. Can you shut the fuck up? This is where we were going. Lecture room. Friends, faculty, and staff, I thank you for coming today. Today is, for us, the best day of our lives. Because today, we leave the nest of our school and begin our climb to adulthood. Those who passed our bar exam, those who didn't, those becoming clerks or notaries or teachers, all of us will be graduating from the school, and we owe a great debt to it. Though, even if they manage to graduate, some of us may need to put a little more time into their studies. <laughs> but these graduates have one thing in common. They're filled with hope for the future. They're ready for the challenge what lies ahead. A toast to our dreams and to our yet unsure futures. And may we have God's grace. You done? D, how'd you get in the lecture room? Wasn't the hallway locked? Ah, uh, you forget I'm a graduate here. I know all the secret ways, dummy. Oh, uh, well, what were you listening to? A tape? Yeah, for my graduation day. Man, it hasn't really been three years. I was getting nostalgic for the place and even abandoned. It really hasn't changed. Just felt like I was, felt when I was taking classes. Studying was wearing me out, so I came here for a breather. Nice to have a place full of memories like this. You graduated, but you're still studying? Hey, hey lay off. Yeah, I couldn't pass the bar exam, so I'm cramming at home now. Next up's gonna be my sixth attempt. There were a lot there were lots of great guys in my class. Most of them passed it in one shot. Being a lord in my drink since I was a kid, so I was so happy when I got accepted here. One step closer to making it come true. The work was tough, and I just barely barely managed to graduate. I think it's my kind, helpful professors that did it. I'll pass next time for sure. I mean it's my sixth time. Anymore, anymore, and I'll be way behind my classmates. You're already way behind. Just give up. Yeah, all that talking. I see an item over there that I want, so shut up. 
Good to be motivated, but it's dangerous, so you should get out of here soon. All this talking, let me go get the item. Dangerous, what? Sort of hard to explain. There's a kind of monster here. It'll attack you if it finds you. I thought you were some weird old guy wandering an abandoned school, but damn, you're really nuts. Seriously, a monster. Even little girls don't believe that stuff. You're being a total doofus. <laughs> Do you enjoy making fun of people? I don't think I'm much older than... Ha! <laughs> don't even try to debate me. I'm a talented soon-to-be lawyer. You'd be no match. Do what you want. Get eight, nigga. I will do that. Like I need a shady punk like you telling me what to do around my all of my mod are. He walks out and get his ass ain't. Hey Paul, I, I got in. What, really? You got into flight school? That's crazy, David. I can't even do a handstand. You can really do it if you try, man. Man, dude, you totally will be. Make sure to give me a ride. I love to fly above a city sometime. Paul, I'm not going to fly passenger planes. It's not that kind of school. Don't sweat the details. I'm glad for you. You did good. Hey, I'll take you to lunch today. Back then, I wasn't really thinking. I was just going wherever I wanted. Maybe Big D is like that, too. A big hand for M M M M Michelle Statham. 619. 619.20. Hold on, I want to see something. Is he still in here? Oh, then I'm going to ask. Oh my goodness, they want me to go freaking read the text again. Michaels, we ain't we have the same birthday. He's my birthday as a security code. Oh, right here. Okay. Zero, six, 19. Key to the lecture rooms inside. Imagine the door's open. <laughs> What's this? Scrap a notebook? I knew there was something that I lacked, but I didn't want to admit it. My ambitious youthfulness wouldn't let me. I wanted someone to say it. I wanted to be woken up, to be told I have, I'm have i a have-not. Something you lacked, a have-not. It's true. There are haves and have-nots. People whose dreams can come true and... Oh! Again, sometimes my head just starts hurting bad. Finally, it oh, God! An enemy! Damn monster! Why are you chasing me? Yeah! Ah! Huh? Ugh. He left? I'm alive? The monster's gone. I thought it would kill me, but it left. Damn it. My neck hurts and I feel so sluggish. Really should, I, I haven't really slept since yesterday. I should try to rest somewhere. I don't know about that, bro. Seminar, friends, more. I don't give a fuck. Up here? Most likely the infirmary. Damn, this nigga's slow. You that sluggish, bro? Lock in. Not there. I'll take a little nap. Pushing myself wouldn't be a good idea. All right, bro. All right, bro. 
When you wake up in the crooked man staring at your bedside with his meat out, getting ready to slap it against your bottom lip. Mom, are you crying again? Sorry, I can't do a thing. I can't even console you. A dream. Yeah, mom always cried in the living room, and I'd gone to bed at after I'd gone to bed at night. That was when I was a kid, though. All right, I'm feeling better now. Let's go. Nah, auditorium crime among the impoverished is in its prevention. Criminal behavior, psychological approach will be referenced. Read it before coming, friends, more. Whatever the fuck that means. The rule matches the other pages, so he was here. Many hopes were fulfilled here. Many youths were blessed, but I didn't receive that blessing. What's the problem with me? Who refused to pick me and left me in the dust? I loathed those meaningless days. He had a leaflet for this school. It was in the desk. Felt like it was important. Was he trying to be a lawyer like D was? Guess this was implied he didn't become one. <laughs> Lame ass nigga. You're breaking my house. Your mammy can't save you. I'ma tie your ass up. I'ma fuck you in your ass. I'ma fuck you in your ass. I'ma fuck you in your ass. I'ma Fuck you and your ass. Hey, uh. Oh, criminal behavior, psychological approach. I noticed in the lecture room mentioned this. I don't understand a word of it. Slip a paper here, 9981. Oh, that's for that dude that um left this code in the in the in the in the book. Who was it? Wasn't you? Was it Lefty Lewis? Wasn't Lefty Lewis. All right, 9981. Computer room, save. I don't want the crooked man to stick it in crooked in my ass when I least expect it, so. One four four two four six. 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 One. Four, four, two, four, six. One. Ahem. Friends, faculty, and staff, uh, thank you for coming today. We're glad to have a sunny graduation to start off the rest of our lives. The future may be uncertain for some, but the persistence we learn here will make us resolute. Round of applause for my fellow graduates. Mind your business. Get on. The laptop. But it wasn't on. Move on. Leave. However, as valedictorian, there's something I can't help but lament. It's about David Hoover. Huh? He was highly skilled, kind to us all, admired by pupils and teachers alike. We all expected he would be proudly standing with us this morning to graduate. But our hopes were dashed by none other than the man himself. Hiding behind an innocent face, he's been fooling all his pupils and professors. Let me ask you all this. Should he be forgiven? Can he escape punishment for betraying his friends and mentors? I don't think so. He should forever be punished for what he has done to grant his selfish dreams. What is he in purgatory, right? Ooh, what if this entire thing is just purgatory? Stop it. Stop. You're the lowest of the low. Your dreams will never come true. What are you even good for? Go off and die somewhere. Coward. Die, die, die! Stop!
Damn, calm down. You could assault us. No, I'm I'm not a coward. I just I heard a scream. That was you. Jeez, you made me freak. What's the big idea, huh? Did something happen? F forget about it. Sorry to start you. It's nothing. Hey, dude, you okay? You look super pale. Just kind of tired. I came a long way. I haven't slept. Can't be bothered to talk. I have this. Huh? I already had a little, but it's an energy drink. Drink up. What? Seriously? I don't need this. I told you. Let me be. Drink it, nigga! Like you need food and drink. And I'm being nice, so at least accept it, will ya? Alright, thanks. What's all this when the guy was calling me a shady punk? Mostly cause you look like crap, dude. Come on, I'm not I'm not like it's not like I'm heartless. I mean I am trying to be a lawyer. Besides, maybe it's fake. Tell you what, I won't call you shady anymore. Now cheer up. You'll be my client once I'm a lawyer. That's a quick turnaround. I'm grateful at any rate. Say, have you seen anyone else around? Particularly a man about my age? Huh? Nope, nobody. He's who you're looking for? Yeah, though I don't really know how he looks. Tell me if you see him, okay? You got it. Doubt anybody be here, though. Oh, can I ask you something, too? Professor Andrew, he always helped me out. His room's on the third floor, but it's got a number lock, so I can't get in. Just thinking that Professor might still have some lecture notes for me around or something. But yeah, tell me if you get it open, okay? Yeah. I'll wander around some more then. You look like hell, so don't push yourself. Yeah, you be careful too, man. See any monsters, get away. Not this again. Yeah, yeah, sure. I've got a knife to defend myself anyhow. Smell ya. <laughs> He's not as bad as I thought. Drink this shit now. Drink this shit. Expedited. There we go. 144264. Hold on. Should I be a um I should be a DJ. One four four two four six. Finally done with the finals. I'm glad everyone got their appropriate grades. Of course, there's that lone D. I teach him so much, but he doesn't even get the basics. He's lagging behind everyone else, yet he's so intense on being a lawyer. The nickname D stands for dreamer. Apparently, it was given to him for having such an impossible dream. But if you ask me, it's for the grade he'll always get. I hate how he fawns over me, too. I practically have to act nice to him. And he always comes for lessons after school. I wish I'd never let him in my class. I just hope he gives up on his dream soon and finds another path. Oh, what a piece of shit. This is about D? It's awful that he said this about a student, but maybe D really is that bad. If D saw this, it'd be a huge shock to him. He said he always respected his professor and always tried so hard. I tore the page out. We don't want D coming in and finding this. Nigga ain't take the tag off his fucking table when he bought it. Broke ass nigga. Get your money up, not your bum bitch up. Dave. Man, I'm so paranoid. See. Monster's still wandering around? Is he looking for me since he couldn't kill me before? I'm gonna have to persuade D to leave. It's too dangerous here. I'll go look for him. Yo, my boy D! My boy D! Hey, yo, D, you gotta get out of here, man. It's getting wicked in these streets, bro. Like, you can't your lollygag around, bro. I swear if he... I swear if he's where the freaking crooked man was. I swear if he's over where the crooked man is. You better be in here. 
All right, we're gonna have to go to where the crooked man is. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just thought he might be in the basement. I completely forgot there was a basement. Over here. Oh, so, yeah, he's in the basement. I have a really bad feeling. The air film's kind of heavy. What even is this? Dave. Damn, D! Hey, D, what's wrong? Get up! Ah, my head feel like crap! Not that you mention, it's a little hard to breathe. What's going on in here? It's gas. The floor is leaking glass. You gotta get out. Oh, the crooked man! It's here. Not gonna let us go? The gas is pouring again. I'll be poisoned if I'm not quick. Sink or swim. F fuck you, achievement. Nothing in the drawers. Oh, a window. Can I like... Maybe... Oh shit. Cracking the wall. Hold on, hammer. Hurry up! <coughs> Hold on, crowbar. Go up to the ceiling. Go! Why you taking so dang long, bro? Oh, managed to escape. Hey, D, are you okay? Get you to the infirmary, hang in there. You sure you're okay? You don't want to go to a hospital? What if you got poison? I'm fine. Hurts like hell. And I feel gross, but I'll get better. Thanks, man. I'd be screwed without you around. I'll you my life. There's a water storage in the basement. Once I, I once heard about it leaking gas. Only just remembered that now. It was after I graduated, so I don't know for sure. But I think there was a dispute over the property, so the school moved and it's got abandoned. I see. But you really shouldn't have come if you knew it was dangerous. Shut up! I just sort of forgot, okay? Man, to think this all this had happened. When I just came here to relax, should have just stayed at home studying. It's good to get a breather, sure, but just not in some abandoned ruins, okay? There's really something though. You're still studying three whole years after you graduated? Well, I always wanted to be a lawyer since I was a kid. No matter what, I will be a lawyer, so I kept studying and I still do. No change in my mind. I respect that. I see. But you're awesome yourself. Climbing the elevator while carrying me, you're buffing and you look. Well, I did go to flight school. Serious, that's awesome. Really can't judge a book by its cover, eh? Anyways, why don't you get out of here already? It's all kinds of dangerous, and I'm not looking after you anymore. I know, I know. It was nostalgic and refreshing while it lasted. I'll just rest here a little and go. I'll be going. Save. I don't know. C can I get you? Hey, get out. Gross, man. I wasn't trying to. Nigga, I want your knife. Give me a knife. BL! No! No, BL! I just want your knife, bro! Oh, hey. Hold on a sec. You dropped something. Here you. Wait, what? 
It's like Professor Andrews writing. Why'd you have this? Hey, wait, don't read that. Huh? Dreamer. The great he'll always get. Hey, what's this about? I... Why did the professor... This is how he really felt? But you supported me. You said I'd be a lawyer someday. That's what you told me. Hey, D, calm down, man. Oh, shit. That guy, he's in no condition. That monster's bound to find him. I have to go after him. It sounds like somebody's getting eight, bruh. Someone's got the munchies. The noise stopped. Is bro dead? Am I too late? Check here. Oh, cutscene. D, there you are. Thank goodness. I always knew. At least thought that I wasn't a genius or anything. But why didn't he just say it? I respect the Professor Andrew because he always supported me. Sure, I'm kind of dumb. I've been teased constantly for it. I felt the damn test five times. I'm a failure. But aren't I free to dream? I've always dreamt of being a lawyer. That's why I still study so hard. Why did it have to be like this? Was everything I did for nothing? I don't know what to do anymore. D. That's life, ain't it? That's life, isn't it? I mean, you weren't cut out for it. Oh, that's not what I was going for, but shit. What the fuck did you just say to me, nigga? Just looking at you kind of irritates me. Maybe it reminds me too much of myself. Need to wake up, man. Aren't there enough hopeless idealists in the world as it is? You shut the hell up! Yeah, I'm stupid, but I'll keep studying! Everyone's lacking in something or another. In your case, it was intelligent, dumbass. You damn, you want a piece of me? In my case, it was my eyes. Huh? Since I was a kid, I wanted to be a pilot. Studied hard and made it to flight school. But I was colorblind. Strange, isn't it? Just a few colors you can't see and suddenly you have no right to fly. It seems so obvious to me now, but back then I just couldn't accept it, so I... I faked my vision results to get into school. Spent three years playing innocent, even managed to be an honor student. But I was found out on the day of the pilot exam, no less. The day I was reduced from an honor student to a filthy traitor. I dropped out and now I'm just some nobody clerk. I don't mind if you still want to be a lawyer, but I just want to say something. Don't trap yourself by narrowing the road. Ain't it rough? Wasn't it your childhood dream? It certainly was hard. It still is. But looking at you, I realized it's not much, but I make my own money. I got a girlfriend. I drink with my buddies on weekends. I enjoy my life for what it is. I didn't want to recognize I'd been set back, but I can't deny where I am now, nor all the work I put in back then. Are you happy with what you have now? Yeah, though I didn't quite notice it. My life is how I choose it to be, so I shouldn't regret it. How about you? I won't give up, because it's always been my dream to be a lawyer. I see. So I'll, just one more time, I'll try the bar exam. But if I fail, that's it. I made up my mind. I'll give up for good then. But it won't mean those three years were a waste. Right, David? 
Yeah, of course. Is there any point of staying here? Let's go. I'll take you home if you want. Yeah, thanks. Oh, shit. David, what's up? Whoa, there he is. What? Well, hey, David. Dean, get out of the school. I'll keep him away. Got it? What the hell? No, let's go together. This guy's bad news. He chased me. Who knows how many miles? It's me the monster is after. I'll take care of it. All right. You just won't die, will you? I'll finish you off this time. Yeah, come get some of this dick, nigga. I'm finna beat the fuck out of you with this long ass stick. Call this shit wood. Hold on. Nigga, hold on. Nigga, hold on. Ni nigga, oh shit, shit, shit. Bitch! Bitch! Fuck. Bitch! Bitch! Fuck, nigga! Come on! Crooked ass nigga! Crooked ass nigga! Crooked ass nigga! Hold on! Crooked bitch! Hold on! Bitch! Hold on! Oh, you see now you're stupid. You're stupid. I fuck niggas up like you. Hold on. Yeah! Sit down, pussy! I don't play that! What I look like? David, you're so damn slow. Are you sure you're all right? Damn it. Hang on, David. I'll come save you. Oh, shit. Yo. Start on me, dude. You okay? Did you finish that thing off? Yeah, somehow. But I don't think it's done for yet. I feel like it'll come back again. What do you mean again? Didn't I tell you? It followed me all the way from a distant hotel. I don't think this is over yet. I don't get it, dude. But are, are you going somewhere now? I'd like to, but I don't have a destination. The guy I'm looking for wasn't here, so I don't know where he could be. Huh. Hey, hold on. I actually found this earlier. Any help? Paper with an address. Where'd you find this? Found it in the basement. The paper looks pretty new, so I thought you just dropped it. Place of regret in an address. You know what kind of place this is? No clue, but I think it's pretty far from here. Take about a day to drive. I'll check this out. So long. Hold on. Said you were looking for who exactly? Any danger driving around this late? Why you want to meet him? To be honest, I'm not sure myself. Though I sort of have an excuse. My point is, it doesn't matter why I want to meet him. It's just right now, it feels like I have to. I have to go. All right. Take care of yourself. Is yours far? I'll take you there. Don't worry about it. I, I can handle myself fine. All right, be careful then. Wait. If we meet again, uh, you, you want to have a drink or something? Of course, I look forward to it. Woo. Okay. Oh. That's the end of the episode, guys. If y'all enjoyed, like, subscribe, leave a comment. I read them all and tap into the next one. Ugly ass car. We finna see what bro's we finna see what bro car look like next episode. Hope y'all are enjoying.